Hello friends, welcome to IVPS guide. So today is day 12 quadratic equation. So in quadratic equation, we'll be talking about the basic and our mission is SBI PO 2019. So please watch video till the end because there are only five questions. So if you want to watch the basic video, then when the, we'll discuss about moderate and hard in the next video, you'll understand how we are able to do it, okay? So before moving on to the exercise, I would like to give you some tips that please watch video from day one and solve the problems in the video. Solve the PDF given in the description of the videos, practice mocks and practice previous year questions. Okay. So let us move on. Let us move on to the quadratic equation. So what is quadratic equation? I'll tell you briefly very what is quadratic equation is. A equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero is known as a quadratic equation. Here a should not be equal to 0 and a b c are real constants okay suppose a is equivalent to 0 in that case it will be b x plus c so we this is a linear equation by quadratic we mean the power should be 2 okay so here the power is 2 and here the power is 1 so this is linear equation so tell me if this equation is linear equation or quadratic equation or what type of equation ax cube bx square plus 2 is equal to 0 by seeing these two you should not say that it is quadratic equation you must see the highest power in the given equation the highest power in the given equation is 3 so this is cubic equation okay so this is not quadratic equation but rather cubic so but if you see 5x square plus 2x is equivalent to 0 so this is quadratic equation this is not quadratic equation okay so hope you have understood the difference between quadratic equation and what quadratic equation is so whenever you see a equation which has a power of 2 highest power of 2 then you can say that it is quadratic equation so before moving on I would like to show you in the graph how it could be represented so quadratic equation has two solutions because it has two power power of 2 so it will have two solutions and it would be represented in this form this is linear equation and it would have one solution okay so this is cut in the x-axis only once so it has one solution but it has it would cut the x-axis in two, two points so it would have two solutions okay so I would like to tell you the before showing the shortcut which I am going to follow in this video I would like you to know the traditional method that is rather the normal method which we use to solve the problem because in case you don't remember the shortcut method this normal traditional method will come in handy okay so let us take the equation ax square plus bx plus c is equivalent to 0 so the solution of this equation will be minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac by 2a so these are the constants a b c are constants okay to have two solutions so this is the solution of the given equation now some more facts suppose the solution is s1 and s2 okay these are the two solutions of this equation and sum of the two solution will be minus b by a and the product of the two solutions would be s1 s2 is equivalent to c by a so this is what you must know okay now if we know the sum is this much and product is this much so we could use this using this two if you know the solutions of the given equation we could form the equation of this out of the solution how could we write it as is suppose x square you must write minus sum of the roots that is s1 plus s2 into x plus product of the roots so this is the equation which has solution s1 and s2 so this is the most important formula in this session this we are going to make use in our problems solve the problems easily okay so let us begin with the question so this is basic level so direction let us read what it is given in the following question two equations numbered one and two are given you have to solve both the equation and give the answer means what it says means if there are two equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 and suppose p y square plus q y plus 
r is equal to 0 then you have to find the relation between x and y by relation we mean x is greater than y x is less than y x is either greater than y greater than equal to y x is less than y x is less than y or if x is equivalent to y or no relation could be determined between x and y okay so let us move on to the first example so i will show you the first example with the traditional method then we are going to apply the shortcut method okay so let us write the equation here okay let us use the traditional method the solution would be 10 plus minus b square 100 minus 4ac that is 4 into c21 by 2a okay 2a is 1 so no need to write plus minus 4 84 84 minus 100 is 16 that is 2 okay so this is 10 plus minus 4 by 2 so this would be 100 this was actually 14 by 2 is 1 and 6 by 2 is 1 so this would be 7 and this would be 3 so these are the two equations that we are getting okay so let us take the first equation and try to solve it using the shortcut method by shortcut we means we are going to use that sum formula sum of the roots x plus product of the root is equal to 0 we will make use of this so let us write the first equation x square minus 10x plus 21 okay so what so what you have to do is take the change the sign of this and take the same number so it would let us take here it was minus 10 so we have taken 10 okay now we have to break this in such a form that we will get 21 this factor that is 21 multiply this two. 21 into 1 is 21 so let us break it into two form that is 7 and 3 okay so we need plus 10 so how could we get if you do plus 3 plus 3 we will get plus 10 so the solution is 7 and 3 of the first equation so let us go to the next problem y square minus 10 y plus 16 is equivalent to 0 okay so we are going to take the negative of this that is 10 and let us break 16 as 2 into 8 okay so these are the two products 2 and 8 sorry 2 and 8 okay so how could we get 2 and 8 we need to take plus of both okay and take the take 2 and divide by the coefficient of y it is 1 8 coefficient of y square is 1 so the solution is 2 8 so do we have any definite relation between these two numbers we don't because suppose you take 7 from here you take 2 okay then you would say then x is greater than y okay but if you take 7 from here and if you take y 8 from here then you would say x is less than y so there is no fixed rule so your answer would be e that can't be determined okay can't be determined so let us move on to question number two so let us write the first one x square plus 11 x plus 30 is equivalent to 0 okay so what you have to do is take the negative of this that is minus 11 and you have to take 30 and break this into factors that is 2 into 15 and 2 into 3 into 5 okay so this could be written as 6 into 5 okay so how could we get minus 11 so your final should be 6 and 5 okay so how could we get minus 11 if we add both of them and put negative sign in front of them and so our solution will be minus 5 divided by x square that is 1 no need to write so minus 6 so this is our solution so let us take the second example second question number roman number 2 so y square plus 7y plus 12 is equivalent to 0 okay so what you have to do is take the negative of this that is minus y and this 12 you have to break it in such a form that will get 7 so if you see if you break it into 4 and 3 we'll have 4 and 3 that is if you add both of them then we'll have 7 but we need to put negative sign in front of them now if you do addition then it would be 7 that is minus 4 minus 3 is equivalent to minus 7 so your solution would be minus 3 and minus 4 so what could you say from here that y is greater than x okay that is x is less than y so this is y and this is x and if you know that this is bigger so x is less than y 
so let us move on to question number three okay we are moving on to question number three so let us take the first roman number x square minus 4x minus 21 is equivalent to 0 okay so what we have to do is take the negative of this make it 4 and this 21 you need to break it into factors that is minus 7 and 3 okay now how could we add so that we'll get plus 4 we need plus so we need to add plus in bigger and smaller we can put minus 3 so the solution would be 7 divided by this is 1 then minus 3 okay then let us go to question Roman number 2 y square minus 8y plus 16 is equivalent to 0 okay so what we have to do is change the sign of this that is plus 8 and you have to break this into form that will get 8 so how could we do this is so this could be written as 2 into 8 and again 4 into 4 would give us 16 so it could be written as 4 and 4 but we need plus so in that case it both will be plus so 4 divided by the coefficient of this that is 1 no need to write 4 4 so what we have here is if you see now 7 is greater than 4 and minus 3 is less than 4 less than 4 okay so you could say that we can't be determined the relation can't be determined okay so let us move on to question number 4 now hope you have been understanding the concept which I have taught you till now so let us move on let please try the video please try this question on your own first please pause the video and try this question on your own only then the concept will be clear to you so let us write here 1 x square plus 9 x minus 52 okay take the negative of this is minus 9 and that is minus 52 minus 52 if you break it will be 26 into 2 okay now if you further break it to be 13 into 4 so you could write minus 52 as 13 4 okay so what we need is minus 9 so you could put minus here and plus 4 here so your solution would be minus 13 and 4 okay so let us move on to roman number 2 y square minus 18 y plus 65 is equivalent to 0 okay so let us take the first let us change the sign of this that is plus 18 this 65 could be written as 5 into 13 okay now we need plus so you could put plus in both of them and add then you will get 18 so your solution would be 5 by 1 and 13 so what conclusion do you derive from here that x is less than y okay x is less than y which option does it have x is less than y if you see it would be c let us see which number is x and x is less than y that is c okay so you could take that so the answer is c let us move on to the last question of this session so now this is not a quadratic equation but rather linear equation okay so how would you be able to solve this equation is see what you could do here it is known as elimination method so i'm going to follow elimination method this is known as elimination method 3x plus y plus 5y you could write it here 34 and this could be written as 5x minus 2y is equivalent to 2 so what you have to do is multiply this way to everything entire thing you have to make the coefficient same in both of them so that it will cancel out it is in plus and this is in you need to make both of them 10 so what you have to do here multiply it with 5 if you multiply first equation with 2 we will get 6x plus 10y minus 60 68 okay now let us see what we could be here is 25x minus 10y is equivalent to 25 okay now if you add both of them we will x to 8 minus 3 1 carry 93 so this is nothing but x 31 3 times would give you 93 so what you have to do is just put this value in any of the equation let us put in the first equation 3 into 3 is 9 plus 5y is equivalent to 34 okay so 34 minus 9 is 25 then y is 5 so your value is so the correct equation is 3 and 5 is your solution so hope you have and watched the entire video so hope you so let us talk some fun things now so if you see here 
we have two cartoon characters here is Sazam and he is known as Superman so my personal favorite is Sazam so who is your personal favorite so please mention in the comment this is just a fun thing so that you don't get bored too much so my personal favorite is Sazam who is your favorite please mention it in the comment okay and thank you for watching if you found the video knowledgeable give it a like and please express your views how you feel about the videos give us your feedback okay and do subscribe to the IBPS guide channel and do share with your friends in the social media websites and also share with your friends in the whatsapp group okay so thank you have a good day